over. All right. That better? I'm trying to get you in the right area. Okay, well. This has been an interesting week, hasn't it? No, still don't like the position. You'd think I would get the camera ready before I turned it on, but oh no. Anyway. So, the verdict came out. And, uh, you know, let's get into it. The Mueller report, that's all. People been talking about last week, so that's what's the, the that's what's in the news. Let's let's talk about that. <laughs> Anyone who watches GMM, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, so it's just like I said, you know, it's like I said, I I would happen. Um, William Barr's decided to throw away thirty years of. Uh, pretty okay career, I guess. Um, he, he helped George Sr. to get out of the Iraq controversy when he got into, when he got into office. Um, that Panama issue with Gaddafi, he did that very well, too. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. Uh, it's where uh, the it was allowed that the American American military can go into another country to arrest somebody to face trial here. So Gaddafi was, I guess, indicted, or he had to be brought back to America to face the trial. <laughs> But anyway, we invaded the country so that we could get Gaddafi out, and now everyone's in the mess over there. Yeah, anyway, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about the Mueller report. Now, the information that we were given, basically, was there is evidence to prove that things did go on, that evasion or, no, obstruction, not evasion, well, it could be evasion, anyway, obstruction did take place, uh, the reason why there was no collusion, you're absolutely right, there was no collusion, the reason why, because that's not what the investigation was about, the, the nowhere in the in how should I say legal lexicon is collusion a crime that was made up that was made up to throw people off base and guess what it worked like a charm that's not what Mueller was hired to do he was hired to fight to investigate was there interference and in the 216 election by an outside entity? And the answer is yes. He did find evidence. Was there evidence that the Trump party had contact with said outside influence to tilt the election for one candidate or the other? Mueller did confirm there was evidence of that. Um, so the things that he was set to find out or to investigate, he found out it's true. Um, somehow, I don't know why, but I guess one third of the nation drank the Kool-Aid and no matter what's said or done, they're never going to believe it. So before you change a person's mind, you got to change their hearts. And I think that's what we need to start doing. So... I will start from the top. Let's go with Fox News. Fox News, the state-run TV, Trump TV, you know, they hold his water, suck his whatever. They pander to him. Two people who I was surprised came out and said, there's enough evidence here that Trump is well, he's in trouble. Judge, uh, 
Na Napolitano. N a p o l i t a n o. Judge Napolitano, who has been on Fox News for years, a contributor they call him, and he's like, I have read the Mueller report, the redacted portion that, of course, we all get to see. And he said there's enough evidence there to make a case. Another person is, um, is like an anchor, star of the show, you know, not, not star of the show, but uh, Tapper, Taper, I'm not sure of his first name. But I don't really watch Fox News because most of the times they're just saying how wonderful everything is instead of telling the truth. Um, uh, these two gentlemen were like, uh, agreed, both of them agreed there is enough to prosecute Trump. Okay. Now, Mueller was not hired to give a verdict of guilty or innocent. He was not hired to put an indictment on anybody. He was hired to gather evidence. He done that. The protocol is he gives it to the AG. The AG res, uh, reads it, uh, redacts it for the public, so they get portions. See what's so the public can get port, read what's going on, and he is supposed to give the entire unredacted file to Congress. It was not left the. Burr, uh, Barr, Spur, listen to me, Barr, William Barr downright lied. Mueller did not leave it to his discretion. It was not, not up to Barr to decide what gets released and what's not. It was not up to his discretion. It is up to Congress. So, the Justice Department has lost credibility, which is part of losing your society, because you have to believe in the laws. We are supposed to be a nation of laws. If you don't believe in the law, if you don't believe in the judicial system, if you don't trust the judges, and we've all been in front of a judge at one point or another in our lifetime, um, for one reason or another, it doesn't have to be bad, doesn't have to be bad, but we've all been, you know, I wouldn't say a running, but we've had our involvement in a piece, you know, whether it's jury duty or a witness saying something or adding information to a case. But anyway, the point is is that we've all had some kind of inter, you know, interaction with the judicial system. And if you don't believe in the judicial system, how is it supposed to work? By Barr doing what he's done, he's eroded the Department of Justice. With that being said, what Mueller has done is given Congress a five-year plan. If you actually take your time, and read this it is a five-year plan because from the time the last criminal interaction was at exchange you count five years the last one was uh, July yeah July 16 26 something like that was the last interaction before the election. The one in Christmas on the 24th, that doesn't count. The last one is July 16th, 2017, which puts the five-year limit on July 2022. What you can do, because Mueller went on the point on the, he's very by the books. 
You cannot indict a sitting president. That is what he went on. But you, he, the president can be investigated for illegal conduct or criminal conduct. What Mueller has done was laid out a five-year plan. So it turns out, and this is just one, one of the things they could get him on. Because it's actually 10, but I'm already 10 minutes into this and I don't have time to fit fart with you people. Uh, first thing he did was John McGann, or Don McGann, excuse me. Don McGann is original AG. And he wanted Don McGann, uh, first off, oh, there's so much. I mean, you need to read it. There's so much. He, Trump, written out a whole script. Don McGant was supposed to get Sessions to unrecuse himself and then read this entire speech that Trump had concocted together. And Sessions would be like, being that Trump's being treated so unfairly and so, uh, you know, no one is giving him a chance. I need to unrecuse un myself so I could get this investigation going in the right direction. I wanted Sessions to limit Mueller's investigation to, to um, for future crimes. Like, how can we stop? future crimes so what Trump did he wanted that to be okay but nobody else could do it after him well no one else is going to do it after him and he's still going to get punished for what he done hopefully anyway that's what he wanted Mueller to do to investigate future crimes and prevent it from happening anymore um, if Sessions refused to do that, Rosenstein was supposed to say, uh, well, actually, John McGann went to Rob Rosenstein to hand the pit, the thing off to him, and if Sessions didn't agree to unrecuse himself and give that speech and limit Mueller, then sessions would be fired so do this or get fired uh let's see McGant at that point start packing his uh office in the box uh you know that cute little i'm out of here box and told the president no no you do this i'm out of here so because of peop because of Don McGant doing that, that's the only reason why Trump is in the office right now. Only reason. Because if McGant would have let Trump do that, then that's it. He would be caught literally red handed. He knew it was a crime, he choreographer, you know, co coordinated the crime and he, he, it was executed. So if Sessions would have got fired and McGant would have said yes, then yes. Right now we will be looking at impeachment in full swing. No way around it. However, <laughs> that's just one thing. Never mind Sarah Sanders lying at the podium. Oh, dear God. See, oh. as she knows she lies because, well, of course she knows she lies because the president tells her to lie. So, there's, you know, misleading the public. Yeah. But anyway, I don't know. You can't mislead the public when the public already knows you're a liar. So I guess that's a double negative. But that's just one. It's 15 minutes into it. And that's just one thing Trump did to try and head off the Mueller report. Yes, there was interference. Yes, uh, they did help. You know, they 
And what they did is, you know, people were like, well, there were no Russians at the polling place. I didn't see any Russians in the voting booth with me. No. What it was is uh, on fa Facebook was terrible about it. And it was voter suppression, preventing people from going to the votes to vote anyway by giving people one a false set of sense of security. Oh, you don't have to vote for Hillary. She's in anyways. Uh, and on the other end of it is Trump doesn't even have a chance. So that kind of got his base fired up. So one, they, one side of things told your, you, your man's never going to make it. And the other side being told, don't worry, she's in. She's got this. It kind of tilt, tilted the scales. You know, so, yeah, that's how they influence it. And that I think we should go with the five-year plan. <laughs> because, okay, with the impeachment process, if we do not impeach this president for these crimes, when do we impeach? Does this say that any president can do anything, literally commit murder, and nobody would do anything. And you know, because that's what Trump said, that he could shoot someone in the middle of Fifth Avenue and nothing will happen to him. And uh, he may be right. He may be absolutely right on that one. So. If we don't impeach him because of these crimes, because of interference in the judicial system and to accepting outside forces help, you know, a foreign entity to tip the scales. But then again, does that sound familiar? Because America has been doing that to the Central American countries, was, you know, the other three Mexico countries <laughs> Let me not get started on that. Oh, dear God. But anyway, you know, so now we know what it feels like. Maybe we stop interfering with other people's elections and mind our own business for a change. But that's just me popping off. <laughs> um, I don't know what Pelosi's going to do. I don't. Uh, I would go... I would go with the five year. Go with the five year in the um, investigation on Trump for criminal, you know, criminal charges. When he leaves office in 2020, he'll be charged then. If he does not leave office in 2020, then go with the impeachment process. Because once you fire off the impeachment process, if it don't work, you don't get to go back no more. You get one chance at it. So go with the investigation because Mueller already given you the roadmap to it. That would be sensible. Uh, I hope Pelosi goes that way. <laughs> if she has any, you know, any sense. But then again, you know, I hate to say it, but Again, this is why I'm an independent. We have, the Democrats have given, have been given a gift. They have been given a gift. They have been handed the 2020 election. If they don't screw it up. This 2020 election is theirs to win if they do this right. Yeah. But... Knowing the dance, mm. it don't work. Mm. I mean, there's already infighting. The the unified front that we're all supposed to have is already going. <laughs> I don't think. I think. Okay. I think the Democrats are gonna blow it. They are. They're gonna blow it. You know, we have, oh, by the way, I got some of these little toys again. 
But anyway, I'm, that's why I've been playing around over here. <laughs> anyway, and it's like, <clears throat> how can you tell if you're a true Republican? Well, I don't know how much money you have in your wallet. You know, and between the Republicans and the Democrats, how can you tell the difference between a Republican and a Democrat? Well, let's see. One sucks, the other one blows. It's wild and independent. They both screwy. But anyway, let me go ahead and lower you down over here a little bit. Alrighty. Alrighty. Well, anyway, you know the little... <laughs> I found these, and you know I have to get them, and there's a mystery, and it's season six. I need to be careful. Last time I cut one of these, I cut half the hair off of one of them. Oh, the poor little fella didn't have a chance. So, let's see who I got in this one. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's a little star one. What's her name? Oh, jeez. I don't know. Yes, yeah, the princess something of the trolls. Whatever. <laughs> okay. So some little girl is going to get a whole bunch of trolls. I got five of them to open. Sit back, relax. It's going to be a minute. Why do I do this? I don't know. I, oh, that one is, uh, okay, I need to be careful because his hair is kind of all over the place. Okay. Ooh. Oh, did I get another one? Oh, I repeat. Okay, two duplicates, so sisters are going to have something. All right. Okay, and what's this one about? I can't help it. I go to the, if you go to like Target and stuff, and you go into the on sale section. Oh dear. Oh, his hair. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's get you all, all fluffy. <laughs> I don't know who that is. But I think she plays a synthesizer. And they're all glittery. Oh, that is so cute. Isn't she cute? <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a little checklist. All right. Oh, it's going a lot quicker than I thought with these scissors. Okay, I got some with blue hair and a pink ribbon. Oh, is that a baby? Mm. Okay, I can't. Being washed out. Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay. She, the lighting here is a little harsh. Now I have to see what that one is. Because that was a, like a little baby. One, two, three. Six on that side. And six on that side. And I don't know who the heck they are because there are no names there. And even if it was, the writing here is so small. It's like, holy. Yeah, you know, you need glasses when you're like. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Ooh, boy, I dang near cut you to pieces, didn't I? Who's that? Branch? Oh, my God, I think I got Branch. Yes, there you go. There he is. With glittery underwear. I don't know who he is, but... He, no, that's not Branch. Branch has a, doesn't have that nose. Anyway, I found these all in the, uh, at Target. I figured why not, they're like a dollar and change. You look, don't, don't, don't you buy those when they're like five dollars each? Then no, no, no. 
You go in there on sale one day, clearance for a dollar, dollar twenty-five. And I found something else for um, around a dollar and change. And I need to ask you about it. I found five of these. And as you can see, there's two in each. That's ten of them. Get a little glittery nest in there. Now, I'm wondering if I should make a video with just these. Because if I make a video with just these, then I can't talk about nothing else. We're not going to touch on any other subject. Or I can open one or two a week until they're all gone. Because like I said, I don't want to like have a, a... I don't want to sit here and yammer for an hour. I got things to do. You got things to do. I just wanted to touch on base because, well, the news drives me crazy. And I can either go to the shrink, pay $75 for 55 minutes so I could come here, unload, <laughs> give you a place to vent to, and then we all go on our merry little way. Uh, so you tell me whether you think I should or shouldn't. This this session went really really quick because uh that's what you get when you jot down notes <laughs> it's like my reading points yes i need to do this more often take down notes yeah so i'll you know just i would go ahead you know about this topic i would definitely go ahead with the we're gonna investigate trump for criminal acts because you can't investigate and you can't try. You can uh, have a investigation on a sitting president because Clinton proved it. It's something. The GOP wanted to can Trump, not Trump. The GOP wants to impeach Clinton. Well, having extra mouths of fear is not president-like. But yet, this orange-headed baboon could do whatever he wants and everyone turns the blind eye. I'm still wondering what the heck does he have on them that they are willing to fall on the sword for him. And do you know that uh, <laughs> history is not going to be kind to you you know for doing this? Anyway another day another dollar so let's go ahead and First, oh, happy Easter to those who celebrate. Happy Passover to those who celebrate. And let's remember Sri Lanka a minute. Uh, what's went on there? It's complete. Oh. Yeah, heartbreak. I want to say heartbreaking, but you know what? This is, this is somebody trying to cause discourse. Trying to make a religious war trying to break people further apart than we already are. We cannot let that happen. No matter what happens, we cannot let hate take over. So, with that said, let's hope for the best. Prepare for the worst. We're going to end up somewhere in the middle I guarantee you we're all going to be okay. See you next week. Bye-bye.